Hi guys, Todd here. Got a bit of hate mail today and uh, I've been vaping away with it. I've actually just filled it up some more and uh, thought I'd better do a little review. Now, this is the, the Boodle Dug, as I've been calling it. Uh, it's the, the Doodle Bug uh, by Rocket Scientist Mods. And this is one atty I thought I would never review, mainly because the guy wouldn't sell me one. But anyway, there you go, uh, for whatever reasons. Now, how do you buy it? You go along to his site, Rocket Scientist Mods, and uh, I think yeah, there's lists or whatever, and you can buy it there. Um, I have to admit that the pricing it doesn't actually say what the prices are. I think it's about £110 or something like that. Uh, but right now, as of the 6th of July 2013, uh, the next one's going to be the special edition Doodlebug. Um, I like the fact that he only sells one atomizer per person. 10 out of 10 for that, because there's no flipping involved there. Um, delivery is typically six to eight weeks from order and uh, dimensions in one. It's a 22mm atomizer, 49mm in height and it weighs 83 grams. Um, what else can we tell you? I'll cover most of this in the close-up shots but uh, you know it says it's stainless steel uh, I think it's 304 stainless steel. Uh, don't know for definite. It doesn't actually state in the site, uh, which you probably should, but that's. I'm going to say it's 304. Um, it's got the. You know, one of the key features, and you'll see this in the close up shot again, it's got the, this bobbin type design in the tank, um, which does give it a kind of unique look and it's kind of what sets it apart from a lot of other atomizers. On the outside, it's aside from the bobbin, I mean the tank, the, the top cap, it, you know, it's just a, it just looks like you're running the mill atomizer, but uh, oh, there's too much beeping and whatnot going on here. Um, but I've got to say, you know, on a Paps Lux, uh, with that drip tip from Vape Lab on it, it's just, it does look really, really nice. Uh, I don't like it so far. Um, what else can I tell you? Materials of the tank, borsillic fused glass Pyrex. Uh, it's Pyrex. I don't know what borsillic fused glass is. It's not quartz. It's, it's either one or other. So I'm saying it's Pyrex. Um, you got brass uh, center post going through it, and uh, you got your usual insulator. Tank volume is 2.8 millimeters. Uh, air hole is one millimeter, and you got a three mil wick hole, which has no threads in it. Um, and that's it from the site. Uh, right, th these are kind of been uh, rare as. something I'm just gonna swear to you. <laughs> Been uh, very hard to get a hold of and uh, the reviews I've seen and what I've read it's uh, it's getting a lot of good feedback and uh, a lot of high praise getting heaped in it. Um, now I think I'll stop here and what I'll do is we'll just go into the close-ups, take the tank to bits, show you it in a bit more detail and I'll I'll set it up. I'll not show you me setting it up, but uh, and then we'll do that and then we'll have some feedback at the end. So let's go on with it. Right, here we go. Uh, broken down into its component parts. Uh, top cap, centre post with uh, an insulator. Uh, tank, which is uh, Pyrex, and 
the actual ATI itself. And you can see that it's uh, you know it's a single Wix setup here. Um, now I've got to say it doesn't actually state on the the site for grade of stainless steel this is, but I've never actually. It's highly polished this deck here, uh, but I'm I'm kind of guessing it's 304 just by the feel of it. Uh, I'm guessing uh, the base does have. I'm we'll getting this focused then some kind of uh, serial number scratched in there. I don't know if that is 08 or OB or, or 80 or I, I don't actually know what that is. Um, it's I'm still in two minds whether I like that or whether I think it looks terrible. I'm kind of 50-50 at this moment in time. It gives it that kind of uh, <laughs> you know I built this type thing, you know, uh, whereas a, a stamp or a proper serial number would look kind of CNC type thing. Um, you've got your insulator in here. Uh, and of course, there's your, your bobbin uh, with the slopes. It does give it a kind of unique look. Um, that's quite smart. Uh, tank, you know, just went on no problem at all. I'll just push this down. So there's the tank on. And we'll pop our little insulator in here. Doink. And this is a brass brass bowl that's just been cut to size. Uh if this might be actually easier just Popping this in first, and you should just have to screw this down until you get where you would want your your pin to sit. Uh, I'll slide this down. We're just going to screw on. thought that was going to slide over. Sorry, I'm drifting out of focus here. I might have to screw that down. I'll, I'll take that down first a little bit. And then I'll screw this on. Well, that was just pure luck. That's exactly where I want it to be. That's nice and firm. Got two brass bolts here. Uh, and I'll screw one of them down. And I'll screw the, the smaller one down. Like so. Yeah, you could actually raise and lower the, the height you want your top wire to set up. Uh, I might change this out for a spring and washer assembly, but uh, yeah, that's as fine as it is. Uh, I do believe you get, a, well I got with this, because remember I bought this second hand, you get a little Allen key, you know, and uh, I'll probably leave the fill hole one out, as I normally do. Uh, I do believe, in fact, I'm just checking the site, that uh, it's 3mm threaded. Now, so it's 3mm threaded for that, but the 3mm wick hole is actually smooth bored according to the site. So 3mm, that's a good size. Uh, prefer that than smaller. And I'll just back that off a wee bit as well. Now, here we have the reduced chamber, a la Foggy. Uh, you know, I've seen this in the Fugati. It's the same setup, same style. And the actual air hole looks like a 1mm. Let's check the site. Yes, it is. And uh, 
No, it's actually actually in there as well. So you're going to have to watch when you put it on that the, the air hole is perfectly lined up with the coil and wick so that you don't go bending it. Um, it's it's got a good weight to it. You know, it's, it feels. It's not. I mean, this is second hand. Remember, uh, it's got a smooth finish to it. It's not machine marked. The hell. Uh, Do you know, I, I really can't fault it so far. I really can't. It's, it's quite impressive. And, of course, it would just sit on like that. And it's quite a nice tight fit. It's not going anywhere. You can, I mean, you've got your machine marks in the base, but, I mean, that's... Well, maybe it would have been nice to have them polished out. But that's just been me being picky. Uh, right. I might have to adjust this a bit. It's not sticking out possibly far enough. Uh, but there we go. That was it. Right. I think we shall uh, set this up. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother showing you how to set up a working coil. You've seen me doing that many times. Um, and we'll, we'll go for it. Right. I'll be back in a second. Okay, there we go, we're set up. Um, and I have to admit, set up after a lot of hassle. Um, I started off with silica, ro eh, silica rope, stainless steel rope. Um, but <laughs> a, a to total mind block. The feature that, you know, one of the features that sets this apart is the bobbin shape there, which is meant to, you know, gather the juice in the bottom and leads to, well, supposedly increases uh, sales pitch. Anyway, um, because of this here, you're going to have to watch that you're, as, you know, as normal with a Genesis, you make sure that your wick is not touching the base of the tank. You know, that leads to shorts. Uh, and because of this, you're going to have to make sure that you're, when you put your wick in, that it's not touching the bobbin at the bottom, um, which then means that you've got to make it shorter. Uh, so that that's what caused me problems. Was uh, I was getting shorts from uh, my wick uh, actually touching the bottom of the tank. Uh, so that's my mistake. But it's uh, yeah, that's the thing. You guys learn from my mistakes. Uh, but it's a. Uh, And there we go, it's just fucking done it again. Arse. I'm going to have to cut this shorter because every time... I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's just... I must have just touched it a little bit and it's just caused the, the wick at the bottom to touch the base of the bobbin, which caused, caused it to short out uh, because it was firing perfectly. But there we go, I've just popped another coil. Right, back we go again. Right, that's me all set up now. Um, and you can see that I've got a nice healthy glow coming off there now. Uh, no problems at all. I possibly cut the wick a little bit too short, uh, but I'm not running the risk of shorting it out again. Uh, but just, you know, be careful. Uh, just make sure it isn't touching. And don't cut it as short as I have. That's just silly. Um, so, there we go. Uh, I'm running at the uh, 1.1 ohms here, and I'm using 0.23 Canthal A1. So, let's go for a beat. Here we go. Yeah, I've been vaping out. I tell a lie. I, I mean, I've actually been away. I've done the garden, changed, come back. I've been vaping in this for a while. Now this is just, now, for whatever reason, I wasn't allowed to buy one of these, I was, I, I, and somebody was advised not to sell me one second hand. I don't know why, I don't really care, uh, I, I really don't. Um, 
and it would have given me nothing but the greatest of pleasure to sit here and say this is a pile of shit and I hate it. So when I say this, um, it should tell you just exactly how good it is. This is a stunning vape. This is perhaps one of the best, one of the best, not the best, but one of the best rebuildable atomizers I've come across um, for vape quality. taste is just incredible, it really is a cracking vape, the flavour is stunning, um, it really is, It's at first it was a wee bit hard, it was I would say it was harsh, uh, it reminded me a, a lot of the, the Hellfire Mini uh, and how harsh it was, but as I've been bedding it in and vaping more and more, it's, uh, do you know, it, it's just, a 1.1 ohm coil in, in this and Grant's Vanilla Custard which tastes better in silica uh, and is not always the best in a, you know, a stainless steel mesh wick but in this I, I am, I'm very very impressed Um, yeah, enough of blowing clouds, now you know what it's like. Um, I do like the vape, I, I really do, I, I'm quite impressed with the vape. Um, I think the, the bobbin design, whilst it looks good, um, it's I don't know, it's just part of me, I, I, I get where he was going with it, I get the, you know, pulling the liquid at the bottom, I understand that, but it means that you can only put the wick down so far. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about that one, but it does look good, uh, and it does give it that, it sets it apart from your, your standard Genesis Atomizer that you see. Um, I mean, it's about, what did I say the capacity was? It was over 3 mil, wasn't it? Um, 2.8 mil actual capacity, which is, is all right. You know, it's not, no shame with that at all. Um, I'm going to stop there uh, because I think I've, I've said enough and I think uh, you get the gist of how I feel about it. I think it is an incredibly good atomizer. Uh, it does give a great vape. Um, the finishing on it, uh, in my opinion, could be a little bit better. Um, and, you know, I would like to see any site clarify exactly what stainless steel it is. And, uh, you know, this borsillic fused quartz, but, you know, you know it's, it's Pyrex or it's fused tank or what it's, you know, just clarify that. That's a minor, that's just me being pernickety now. But overall, yeah, it's a very good atomizer. Uh, very good. And that's me. I'm saying nothing else about it. <laughs> Guys, as always, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, go watch other reviews. Get a balanced viewpoint in this. Don't just go in my opinion. Uh, I would like to thank Chris and UK Vapors for selling this to me and for shipping it so quickly proper gent uh, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. All the best now. Bye.